Nimble Neuron, you guys finally did it. You guys made a character that's easy to pick up, but difficult to master. Rozzy, baby. I enjoy playing Rozzy quite a bit. Not as much as Emma, because I like severe difficulty. But Rozzy is definitely a really good character to pick up right now, especially because she's uh, she's she's overtuned a little bit. <laughs> I mean, uh, here's my first game with her. Um, uh, all the the Rozzies have all the kills, and and at this point she's been out for about three to four hours. Uh, may, maybe hit her with the nerf bat two or three times. But she is going to be a really, really solid character to the roster. Since she just came out, uh, I'm going to go over the abilities real quick. Um, I'll leave a, a timestamp here and in the description of where to skip to if you already know her abilities. Rosie's passive is called Dual Wield. Uh, she wields two pistols, and if you use an ability with her, she gets to auto twice. Rosie's Q is probably where the most skill expression comes in, and this is where your clicks matter. Um, so, Q is a skill shot line, and if it hits an enemy, your next movement input is going to be a dash in that direction. So it entirely depends on your situation, which direction you want to dash, where you want to dash, uh, if you want to hit a wild animal with it to chase somebody, uh, there, there's a lot of cool things that you that I can see happening with this ability. Uh, Rosie's W is a big circle around her, and she just sprays her gun like nuts. Um, it, this gives her increased movement speed while she's using it, and also when it hits an enemy, it turns off healing reduction in HP regen. And Rosie's W also reloads while you're using it, so that's also useful. Uh, her E is definitely something uh, interesting. So it's a point and click on a target. Um, she'll f do a flip over them. And you can recast it to push them in targeted direction. And if they hit a wall, they get stunned. And her R ultimate is kind of the same thing as E Soul Q. Uh, it's a Semtex grenade that she lobs in a targeted direction. And if you do a bunch of normal attacks into said Sentex grenade, it explodes earlier than it would previously. Uh, here, here's the list of builds that I currently have. Um, I use the six zone one the most because, oh my god, you get super tanky. Uh, all the extra normal attack damage is really nice too because, again, you get two auto attacks after casting an ability. So when you double auto, that's the extra normal damage applies to both of those. So it's just a lot of damage. The only other option I can see being good on Rozzy is the, the, I call it the golden gun. I forget what it's actually called, but, um, because lifesteal is insanely good on this character because of the double auto attack as two lifesteal procs instead of one. I'm going to go over some key points in this match, uh, where I win. I'm usually going to show a game where I win for these in a nutshell videos. Um, so to start off, you're gonna wanna start in either dock or uptown. Uh, you wanna start in the area that has people instead of the area that doesn't have people. And that's because you're going for priority items here. Uh, specifically, carbonated water in uptown and the batteries in dock. You need both of those items to finish your weapon and that's your main concern at the beginning of the game. So by the time you finish your weapon, uh, this will be the time that people are going to start fighting. So it just you can you can take just about anybody. Um, it's kind of difficult to judge right now because there's so many people playing Rozzy. She's going to be a really really strong early game contender, fall off in the mid game, and then come back in the late game and just shred everybody and per usual if you get a kill in the early game you're gonna be ahead of the curve for a long long time so everybody's gonna want to run away from you and this is where I think Rozzy is really good is uh, her R also slows people which I didn't do but I might have killed the Jukai if I got it um, she's gonna be a really really strong chase character around the time that day three starts you should be looking to open up 
these yellow containers. So try and use uh, it well. Crack these bad boys open because you f could find red shoes in them, which is 100% your best in slot for shoes as Rozzy. Uh, these things are nuts. They give light steel crit. Uh, equip these immediately. <laughs> They're really good. And also, make sure that you start making traps around this time. Um, traps are invaluable and can just solo win you the game if you place them properly. This is where Rozzy's weakness is supposed to be, I believe. Um, I think she's going to be able to be kited up by these other ranged characters. But it doesn't really matter right now because, again, she's overtuned. Um, I believe she's another really, really good anti-melee. And this just helps, again, with the melee problem in the game. Um, melees are just <laughs> have been the dominating force in Eternal Return. And it's good to see them implementing characters that can just walk all over them and dodge them and make ranged a little bit more viable so we got down to the final zone and ended up being forest now you have to think about where your opponent is going to go especially in this 1v1 scenario um obviously this happens without fail they're always going to go right to the cameras as soon as they enter the zone if you get there first you got time to set up in a bush nearby uh a lot of the time they'll walk around and try to look for extra hunts before the match ends and that's exactly what happened to this ka gene uh, she ran directly up to the camera this should be the right i had already set up uh these gold smart bombs everywhere so what the only thing that she could have done is probably run away but she picked the <laughs> she picked the wrong direction and I think I still had the upper hand because I was playing Rozzy and I have way more chase potential than she has escape potential. Nimble Neuron, you guys did a really, really good job with Rozzy. Uh, as you can see by the length of this video, there wasn't too much for me to explain about her. It's all just a technicality thing. Um, in order to really learn how to play Rozzy, you have to play Rozzy. But that's really Rozzy in a nutshell. <laughs> I think this is the first one that's actually been kind of in a nutshell where I explained everything very quickly. Um, again, there's not too much to actually explain about this character, so thanks for watching.